This is Neil Pittori. In this segment, I'm going to talk about how we actually use convolution instead of correlation when we're computing what we need to in a receiver. And I've been saying that the receiver correlates the received signal with each of the orthogonal waveforms, uh, V sub k of t, that is. And I've drawn this in a diagram as follows. OK, but note this is just for one symbol period. At the next symbol period, we'd multiply by phi sub k of t minus t sub s. We actually need to do this every t sub s, and we need to have a minus n times t sub s in this parentheses. So the problem is that at each time t sub s, we need to start a new integral. Potentially could go on for a very long time, and we need past values of r of t in order to complete this integral. In this segment, I'm going to talk about a more elegant way. Instead of using that one product and doing an integral, we're going to use one filter and a sampler block. And here the block is an LTI filter with impulse response equal to the time reversed version of our k waveform. And the multiples of symbol period t sub s, we are going to sample the output of this filter. And what I'm going to show you is that this gives us the same response. Here's why it's the same. Remember that when we have a filter with impulse response, usually we call a filter h of t, and we say it has an impulse response. Um, here we're calling it vk of minus t. That filter does a convolution with the input signal, r of t. That is, we get r of t convolved with h of t as the output of the filter. And r of t convolved with h of t is an integral over some dummy variable tau over all time of the received signal as a function of tau multiplied by h of t minus tau. This gives us the filter output. Okay, why does this end up being the same thing? Well, plugging in I'm going to distribute the minus sign inside the argument of vk. I'm going to get a plus tau minus t. Then this sample block that says let t be the output of the filter be sampled at times t that are multiples of t sub s. And here remember the tau is a dummy variable. So once it gets integrated out, this result of this integral is a function of t, not tau. We're going to sample at times t equal n t sub s, so the t are going to be integer n times t sub s, and that's going to be our xk. Well, is this equivalent to this expression here? Yes, in fact it is, because all that's changed is our dummy variable has changed from t to tau. Yeah, that's going to integrate out, and we're going to let, be left with something that is a function of integer n. At every new time n, we're going to have a new value of x sub k. So the convolution form is nice because the filter is running all of the time, and it keeps track of its own state. Every filter is doing its own thing, um, storing the values that it needs to calculate its output, and the output gets sampled every t sub s. So we don't need to wait once every t sub s and then do a new infinite integral. So we'll see that this is a really important way to manage the computation and have a real-time receiver. We'll see this when we do our MATLAB and Python simulations.